Hi guys, hi guys, hi everybody. Um, it is November 7th, 18th, November 18th, 2019. I'm Overland, and today's topic as we wait and see if people will be coming in, um, today's topic is fight fair, fight fair, fight fair, and um, let go of pettiness. And um, I wanted to bring up this this topic because no matter what kind of relationship you're in, whether it's your family members or your um, significant other or the person you're trying to, to be with, your spouse, whoever it is, co-workers, could be anybody and everybody, fight fair. And what do I mean by that? I mean... When you're arguing with somebody, even though there's high emotion, fight with the facts. Fight with the facts because your gut and your conscience always tells you what's facts and what's your emotion. And when you're fighting off of emotion, then you're not fighting fair and you're not fighting with the facts. You're not um, constructively getting your point across and the person that you're arguing with i just saw this quote on facebook um don't fight with somebody that you know they don't have the capacity to understand or comprehend um what you're saying so you could fight with somebody and they could be like a stone wall because they're not either communicating how they feel and bringing their perspective or they're talking or yelling or however you fight with people verbally and they're they're redirecting other things that don't have anything don't have any relevance to what you're arguing about um the scriptures say fight the good fight um damar jones one of the people that I always bring up and always post about from Elate the Minds, he says, you don't have to um, engage in every fight and some fights aren't yours to fight, which I totally agree. But the fights that are yours and you feel passionate about, I feel that those are the most important that you have to fight fair. Don't name call, don't bring up the past only argue about what you're arguing about in that present moment and i know for myself when i'm in like heated conversations heated arguments and i'm losing my mind i do my best because you still have a choice in your head you still have a choice to not say things that are irrelevant or say things just to be cruel so the benefits of fighting fair is that um, you get it off your chest and you are not hiding however you feel at the moment. And also you are confronting what might fester and grow into resentment because you're getting it out. Um, as far as for pettiness, pettiness could be thrown in there when you're not fighting fair. Um, and that's the downfall of fighting unfair is because you become so petty and then you you drag out the argument. And anybody that knows me and knows how hard I've been working on f not arguing so much and also not arguing and walking away being petty um, knows that I've come a long way. And so... For all of those who think, oh, I can't change or this is the way I am, they're going to have to accept it. I'm telling you, that's just going to kill your 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 health. That's just going to kill possible happy relationships and the relationships you already have. So fight the good fight. Fight the f Okay, sorry guys. So what I was saying is fight the good fight. Fight the fights that are yours. Don't walk away with pettiness and um, don't be dirty when you're fighting. 
And if you are, then be the bigger person when everything cools down and apologize. Apologize because it's the right thing to do. So I hope that helps you with your your um, relationships. And especially if it's a relationship where you're starting a family, already have a family, or want a family. So across the board, this message is for all those different relationships. Love you guys. Talk to you guys tomorrow.